Hello there Taurus, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to start a brand new journey with you. So remember I did the tower last and then I decided to channel the energy of Pluto in the meditation to see what it is that I can change up in my life and Pluto gave the suggestion of starting this tarot journey with you. So we're starting today with the Fool. Oh gosh, okay, you got two. That's interesting. Um... We're starting today with the Fool, and then every week I'm going to cha um, channel the next card in the deck. And there's 78 cards, so it would be an interesting and a long journey. So, yes, um, I know I've done many of the cards I've channeled readings for, but this is a new energy that we've stepped, on, stepped into this year. And I am definitely going to channel new readings for um, all of the cards which should be very exciting okay Taurus let's see first of all this is the overall energies new beginnings the fool um oh gosh sorry let me just light your card oh sorry, light your card gosh light your candle oh sorry I didn't it went ah oh. Your candle doesn't want to light, Taurus. The wind is very bad today. Nope. Nope, this is not happening. Sorry. Okay. Not happening, Taurus. Right. So let's just take this away. There we go. Now you don't have to look at a candle that does not want to light. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right. Now, the very first step on your new journey Taurus is the eight of cups this is interesting so you are walking away from something you are walking away from something that doesn't serve you any longer you have learned the lesson and it's time for you to move on to new beginnings which is the fool and this is your first step is the first step is to turn your back on something that you were passionate about that you thought might have been great, that you thought um, might have lasted a long time. This is the first step of your new journey, Taurus, is to walk away from that. Wow. Um, I think actually the tower had the same energy. The tower, Your tower reading, it had the same energy. Right, what are you leaving behind? Because remember, there's, you have to make space for the new. Um, because when the old is still occupying that space, the new can't come in. So what is it that you're leaving behind? Wow, the king of wands. Okay, so do you see in that, in that cup, there is actually a fire burning? This is something that you've been really passionate about, something that you thought would last forever and would burn in your heart forever, but it didn't. This is something that... This is very serious energy, Taurus. It, it really is serious energy, but I cannot put more emphasis on this to say, yes, you were passionate about it. Yes, you thought it would last a long time because the king is like the top of the, the suit. Um, you, you, you thought it would last forever, but it, it, it's not. It's over, done and over with, and you need to start walking away from that. You need to, to leave this behind. This has run its course. It wasn't in vain. It, you weren't wasting your time. It's simply the end of a journey and you need to see it that way. It's the end of this journey in order for you to embark on your new journey. Wow. It's heavy energy, Taurus, but it's beautiful energy. What new energy is available to you right now? We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So this is someone that works really hard on what it is that they really want. So I feel here the new energy that's available to you is find out what it is that you are passionate about now because this is done and over with. Remember, you're not passionate about this anymore, which means that the moment you walk away from this, you make space for something new to be passionate about, something that you can really work on, something that you can make great. And that's the new energy available to you right now. Wow, this is so cool. Right, now, whenever we embark on a new journey, we don't know where it's gonna lead, we don't know what we're going to encounter on the way. So sometimes when we have this unknown, we feel scared and afraid, 
So what is it that scares you most about this? And we have the five of wands. The five of wands is, this is basically people practicing for something. This is people, oh, sorry, just hold on a second. Sorry, Taurus, I just had to tend to something quickly, but just, I wanted to say something while the camera was off, a gust of wind came in and blew this card away the only card on the table that it blew away so i do want to say that please don't get too stuck in your mind about this because it might blow away your new beginning but it was quite symbolic to me um uh, so this card the five of wands <clears throat> this is these people are practicing they are practicing to fight they are practicing to work together and it's not really working well yet because they are still practicing to do something so what i feel is what you fear is that you will not be able to get this energy flowing harmoniously this new energy in your life flowing harmoniously because you don't know what it's about but and with, as with with anything that's got to do with fear there's always something that's happened before in your life that makes you afraid of something new. So let's see, where does this fear really come from, Taurus? Okay, so this is a card of working together. This is a card of celebration, of happiness. And I feel you have been here and then it changed. And because of that, you are now worried that this energy, this new energy that you are embarking on, even though it might feel great um, and, and you might get this to flow harmoniously, that it, will, it too will go away. As I've said to one of the other readings, the other signs that I've done, is remember that this is only the end of a journey and it's the promise of a new, a new beginning, a new journey. And even though things work out fine, if things don't work out great at first and you're not happy, wh what does that really mean? Um, you you probably won't learn anything if if things are not going well at first everything we do starts out as that as us choosing that and that that is what we want to do and what we want to feel and it doesn't always remain that way sometimes well most of the time things change and then we need to go on to the next one you need to leave that passionate thing behind and taurus you are obviously someone that feels very passionately about things. You've got um, two wands energies here. And then the, the walking away with the eight of cups, but with the fire burning in that cup. Understand that you will meet people and you will lose some of them and you will meet new people. So even though you, you are afraid of, of losing people, you will always get someone new. Whenever something goes out of your life, something new is right there to replace it if you allow it if you allow it. Next up is the new energy that, or sorry, the new tool that is in your energy toolbox. And we have the five of swords. So this is, you see that's where the, that gust of wind came in. This is you not being able to have heart mind coherence your heart and your mind is fighting against against each other and with this new energy that you have in your toolbox you are now able to discern to see this is something that is conjured conjured up in my own mind this is something i actually feel and you can make the difference there you can make you can depart or separate those two energies and you can see what is emotion and what is something that's been conjured up in your mind and then make changes accordingly. Be sure to not allow this mind energy to blow away your new beginning, Taurus. This is a very important message that came through for me, very strong. Guidance from Spirit, and you got two cards. We have Listen. We have Listen to your intuition. This is the High Priestess. And then we have Strengthening Bonds. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Remember we said here that People are going to go away in your life. They're not going to stay in your life, but new people will come in. Strengthen those bonds, Taurus, because it's the new people that's in your life that's going to help you through this. Wow. This is quite a reading, Taurus. Um, I really hope that helped, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.